All right, this video is a little bit different than my two minute drill. Uh, and really what I wanna talk about is what I have learned from doing these two minute drills. And that's really why I started doing the two minute drills. I didn't start these just because I felt like it. There's a purpose to why I do everything. And one of the main reasons was I wanted to see how people reacted to shorter content length. Uh, now with most YouTube videos, those higher channels, we're looking at videos that are 20 minutes, 30 minutes, sometimes even above a half hour in length. Um, and those seem to be, I, I don't understand where people get the time to watch 45, 30 minute videos. If you watch more than one of those a day, I mean, you're, you're putting an hour into someone's channel. And that's really what I wanted to accomplish with a two minute drill. I wanted to see A, if the attention was there and B, uh, how much activity could I drive from just two minutes of someone's attention. So I use this as a lesson, more or less. Number one thing I learned from this is everybody has time for two minutes. My engagement and my watches through these two minute drills, through everything through the playlist, is through the roof above anything else I've ever done before. And really that is solely based on, well, I think it's based on a few things. A, I share my content a lot more. I distribute it to a lot more avenues than just posting to YouTube. Um, but everyone has time for two minutes. Someone is, I feel like people are more likely to click on a two minute video instead of getting sucked into a, a 15, 10, 10, 15 minute video. I feel confident that I can get what I need to say and grab your attention for a full two minutes. Also, in those, if you watch a, a longer video that the normal higher YouTuber puts out is nine times out of 10, I don't know, 80, 90% of that is complete BS. It's just fakeness. And it stands out to people like me. Not that I have really gone through, I, I don't really spend too much time on people I don't like. That, that's just how I am. I'm not gonna waste time watching your videos, but as I skim through them, I see that you're not even doing anything value added for 90% of your video. So of your 15, 20 minute video, you may have two minutes worth of things that people really wanna see, and the rest is just filler. That's really all it is. So that's number two thing that I learned is there are a lot, well, I'm gonna redo that statement, and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go bold with this statement. I'm gonna say that 95% of YouTube is fake people, and that's just how it is. That's how I feel about it. Uh, third thing I learned from the two minute drill, and this really isn't two minute drill specific, it's more of content specific, is you can have great content, you can have uh, great videos, a great Instagram, a great Facebook, but if you don't distribute that, if you don't get eyes on your content, it doesn't matter, it really doesn't. Distribution is what I spend more time on this these videos that I actually do recording them. So I spend two minutes recording these two minute drills and then I'll probably spend an hour to two hours getting that and planning how I wanna distribute that through Instagram, through Facebook, through Twitter, and everything needs to be a little bit different. You don't just take a video and post the link to Twitter. I mean, you can because I did play around with that, but I found that if you tweak it just a little bit, or that's adding a picture, changing up some verbiage, changing up the actual video a little bit, people enjoy that a lot more and you get a lot more engagement driven back to your YouTube if you focus on distributing your videos a lot more. Uh, so that was number three. Fourth and final huge key point that I'm taking away from the two minute drills are I need to focus on me. I don't care about what's going on around me. I keep an eye on it, but I don't, I don't need to consume myself with it. Part of that reason is why I have started unfollowing just about any other clothing line on Instagram. Whether I like them or not, I mean, I, I, I'm a fan of other, of other clothing lines, but that doesn't help me and move me along. That just shows me what's already been done and I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about what XYZ company is doing. I'm not worried about what Joe Blow, who has a 
a YouTube and a big Instagram following is doing. If I am focused on them, then that takes away from me finding and focusing what's important to me. I need to figure out what's important to me. I need to do things that are original to me. And I just need to focus on what's important to myself, not what Joe Blow down the street's doing. And I think too many people just don't do that. But I don't know. That's really what I've learned from the two-minute drill. I know this one's a little bit longer, but I really want to cover some of these points. So I hope you enjoyed this longer video. Um, and I don't know if I'm done making two-minute drills. I feel like it's been a good learning curve, but I think I need to step up some of my production. I think I really need to step up some things if I really want to move forward.